click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today in this particular video we will have to learn the numerical aspect of the clipper circuit. So let's see the numericals, I gave you two numericals of different type and we will learn how to solve these numericals of different type. <music> The first numerical is straightforward circuit is given and they ask us to draw the waveform of the output signal. Second numerical in the different manner in the reverse manner they gave us the output signal and they are expecting that the circuit we have to find out which gives you the waveform which is given as follows. Let us solve the first numerical the circuit which is given as we will redraw this circuit, very simple circuit, this is VI, 5 volt pick to pick which is being given, this is resistance R and this is 2 volt, mind well the polarity which has been given is in the reverse way. We have to know that, we have to first identification, the so first step is nothing but the identification. As I know that if I go from input to output then it's a negative clipper. If I go from output to input it's a positive clipper. As the diode is in between input and output that's nothing but series clipper. So this is series positive clipper. So we'll write it as series positive clipper. Given circuit is series positive clipper now go for the operation first operation we'll have to understand the fact that in the positive half cycle what will happen in the positive half cycle the cathode is positive with respect to anode is it so no not really see this 2 volt that is minus 2 volt is at the anode of the diode if I form the cathode which is more positive towards the cathode side, now we'll have to go for the positive half cycle operation, right? Is it really diode is completely forward bias or completely reverse bias in positive half cycle? Let us see. We will first draw a simple horizontal line on the negative side, right? And that is nothing but your minus 2 volt, okay? As the cathode voltage is input voltage and anode voltage is nothing but minus 2 volts that is fixed. If cathode voltage is negative with respect to anode then and only then it is possible to flow the current through the diode that means diode will become forward bias but this is not possible cathode is positive more than that anode is negative so in complete positive half cycle we will be getting diode will become reverse bias diode D will become reverse bias if diode D is reverse bias again it is open circuit if it is open circuit then I know that VO will become VO is equal to minus 2 volts if it is open circuit then I can say this circuit will look like this your output voltage will become minus 2 volts so VO is equal to minus 2 volt for complete half cycle positive half cycle right so we will draw it over here such that we will reach towards the final answer we will be getting negative value that is minus 2 volts and now we will go for the negative half cycle so let us go for negative half cycle now in the negative half cycle I will divide this into three part that is let us say this is negative half cycle and this is the potential bias voltage that we have applied as minus 2 volts okay so for this particular region that is the first region this particular region is 
third region and this is second region so we have bifurcated complete negative portion into one two and three part for first and third part for first and third part we'll do the namakaran for figure a okay for first and third part we all know that your input signal is greater than the minus 2 volts if input signal is greater than minus 2 volt it means that your input signal is greater than let's say minus 2 volts then your v cathode is greater than v anode this reflect that diode d is again in reverse bias condition the same way as that of positive half cycle will be getting open circuit if it is open circuit ideally then we will be getting the value of vo is again to minus 2 volts let us fatafat go for the second part of figure a in the second part of figure a you can easily get to know that your v in is less than minus 2 volt and that is nothing but the anode of diode d so we can easily say that v i is now less than minus 2 volts and that's why v of cathode is less than v of anode and which results in diode d will become forward bias as diode d is forward bias we will be getting the short circuit as it is short circuited ideally we will be getting the value of vo which is following the input signal that is vo is equal to vi very simple now we have got that key for one and third part of figure a we have got vo is equal to minus 2 volt for second part of this waveform will be getting vo is equal to vi so your output will be like this this is your negative half cycle initially i will be getting first part minus 2 volt then it will follow your input signal and then again it will go for minus 2 volts so this is the first part this is second part and this is the third part okay now we'll combine positive and negative half cycle for your output So this is your answer of the question which is expected as a correct answer. So whenever you are drawing this particular waveform, keep this in mind that you are giving each and every value in detail in this particular waveform as far as this minus 2 volts, minus 5 volts, 5 volts, minus 2 volts, minus 5 volts are concerned. Input and output Namakaran should be there in the output waveform. So I'll just giving this Namakaran for this waveform figure B is nothing but output waveform of example 1 let us proceed for example number 2 this is the example number 2 in that waveform is given and we have to identify the circuit and we have to draw that particular circuit first of all we should get to know that what is the type of clipping that they have used in this output waveform type of clipping is positive so we have to identify that circuit should be positive clipper right whether it is series clipper or parallel clipper that doesn't matter it can be series clipper it can be parallel clipper right so we we'll try to identify it as a series clipper so circuit will become simple to identify i know that the circuit is 
series positive clipper so in a very simple form first of all we will identify that circuit is nothing but positive series clipper we will sketch the series positive clipper without bias and then we will identify that at what particular value of voltage that is giving constant value and clipping the positive part so that particular voltage is nothing but the bias voltage which is applied in series with the resistor so identification is must we will name this as series positive clipper so prototype of this series positive clipper we will first draw series positive clipper this is resistance this is your output voltage this is your input voltage diode d and resistance r with this we will get the complete positive portion of the input signal getting clipped off but we don't want such waveform at the output side we want the positive portion well above 2 volts which should get clipped off so what we'll have to do we'll have to apply the bias potential at here right so we'll say we'll apply bias of 2 volts right so we'll just say we'll apply bias of 2 volts and then again we'll redraw this circuit resistance bias potential is of positive type and then we'll be getting a complete circuit which is giving you the output which is expected as given one This is the expected circuit. Then again, it is not the complete solution of example number two. With this circuit diagram, we'll again have to go for the operation of this circuit diagram. And again, we'll have to prove that yes, this is the required output waveform that they are expecting okay so we'll not going to form this complete half positive half cycle and negative half cycle we'll directly redraw this particular waveform and we'll prove that in this positive half cycle we are getting the expected waveform this is 2 volt and here we are getting actual circuit and waveform which is expected so this is how we have completing the example number two so this is how we are completing the example number two with solution i hope these two different types of the numericals of clipper circuit is very clear to you all and hope you will do this in a very simple manner thank you so much for watching this particular video in the next video we will learn more and more diode circuit numericals along with me so stay tuned for that and stay tuned for next videos thank you so much